So, what is Minecraft? Well, Minecraft started as a simple survival game where players start with nothing and have a 10-minute day-night cycle to craft enough and survive before the night strikes. When nighttime happens, a variety of dangerous mobs and monsters begin to spawn. Now, every world is procedurally generated from a variety of cube-based blocks, meaning that when you spawn or load in, it is always a different world based on certain algorithms. Now, Minecraft's very unique feature was that every block, hundreds of different types, was breakable and replaceable, meaning that players can manipulate their environment in an infinite number of ways. Further, the crafting system allows players an astounding number of ways to customize their world, their tools, and their character. Now imagine, if you will, a set of virtual Legos that you can build with, create with, but then you can shrink yourself down and immerse yourself within. That crazy Lego castle you built in grade 3 is now your actual home. Now stretch the imagination further and invite your friends to shrink down and join you in the same world. Have a jousting tournament or shoot zombies from the battlements. Where would your imagination allow you to go? Now, soon after the launch, the creator of Minecraft began to see all the amazing possibilities that were being revealed by the players. And so he added a mode called Creative Mode. In this mode, every single block, every item and crafted item was available. Players were not bound by gravity or the survival elements. And what happened was creativity skyrocketed. And people quickly and artistically built the most amazing worlds and began to share these with others via YouTube and map sharing. Now, the most amazing part of Minecraft's evolution is the fact that none of these uses, approaches, or developments used an instruction manual. In fact, these player-centric developments all happened by doing, testing, iterating upon, failing, and finally learning. And all the key elements of education in the 21st century are right there. Minecraft today is even used professionally as a game design tool, an artistic development tool, and even a prototyping tool. In fact, where many still refer to it as a game, I step up and say no. It is so much more than just a game. It is a creative and immersive tool with vast understated potential. And its potential for education is equally understated. Let's talk about that in the next video.